Assalamu alaikum. And hello YouTube birds. Pro2 is here. In this video, I want to share some tips and trick on how to charge a car battery by using a laptop charger at home. This battery only has 9.6 volts. And this battery is not capable to starting a vehicle's engine. This is how I done it. And it's work for me very well. A car battery is just about 12 volt. The battery is a rechargeable battery that is used to start an engine. To charge it you need a higher voltage so the alternator puts out about 14 volt to do it. If the alternator produces a voltage lower than that of the battery, the battery will never charge. Then some part of the alternator circuitry is failing and needs to be replaced or repaired. Once the engine is running, power for the car's electrical systems is still supplied by the battery, with the alternator charging the battery. And this is the result after 6 hours charging the batteries. 12.53 volts. These are among the item I used in this project. Two clips for positive and negative battery contacts. 12 volt bulb. Some wire. Some connector and a laptop charger. Two things you need to know before starting this project. First, volts generated by your laptop charger. Second, amp produced by your laptop charger. All the information is usually labeled on the back of the laptop charger. This charger produces 19 volts and 342 amps. The maximum charging for a car battery is around 14.4 volts. And we have extra volts here. This 12 volt bulb will act as a regulator in this case and the extra volts will flow to this bulb. It also acts as charge status indicator. The brightness of the bulb indicates how much charge is flowing into the battery. When the battery becomes almost fully charged, the lights will be a bit dimmer. This is a diagram of the connection from the laptop charger to the battery. Positive wire which is the red one are going to a 12 volt bulb. And from the bulb the positive wire going directly to the positive terminal of the battery. While the negative wire is directly to the negative terminal of the battery. Ok then, let's start this DIY project. Since I no longer use this charger. I already cut this charger wire. If you are still using your laptop charger. You don't even have to cut your laptop charger wire. You can do like this. The outside of the connector is negative. And the inside of the connector is positive. If you are not sure which one is negative and which one is positive. Just refer your charger label behind it. Using a multimeter, identify the positive and negative wires. This one is a positive wire, and the left one is a negative wire. Since I don't have a socket for this 12 volt bulb, I will directly solder the positive wire to this bulb.
The right one is positive and the left one is a negative wires. This red wires will be connected to the positive terminal battery. This is the negative wire which will be connected to the negative battery terminal. Positive wires to a 12 volt bulb. And from the 12 volt bulb to the positive terminal battery. While the negative wire will go directly to the negative battery terminal. This battery only have 10.1 volts. When batteries are being recharged, they generate hydrogen gas. It is highly recommended to raise the lid of the battery. When everything is ready, turn on the charger. The light bulb will burn brightly to show that the electrical current from the mains is feeding into the car battery. I will show you how many amps produce while charging the battery. With 255 amps. We need at least 8 hours to fully charge this battery. To raise the amp, we just need to add another bulb in series. On this circuit, charging will not stop even though the battery is full. Do not leave any of these stuffs unattended, bad stuff could happen. Bad stuff here includes the possibilities of things catching on fire, a tiny explosion, and complaints from your neighbors. This is a diagram for two bulb. Let's test this circuit. And of course this circuit can help speed up the process of charging this battery. This process also known as fast charging. Fast charging, however, is undesirable as it can buckle the battery plates. For a battery, it is good to charge in a low amp. An amp that is too high will damage the battery itself. This circuit is for test only. I will use only one bulb to charge this car battery. For two bulbs, the amp used is 412 amps. Trickle charging uses a low current, which means it is very good for your battery's lifespan. And remember to keep the battery cap loose in its hole for better gas ventilation. Looks like the bulbs are getting dimmer. This indicates that the battery is almost full. Currently charging is still running. And the reading on this battery is 13.93 volts. As the battery voltage rises, the charging current will decrease, and it's almost full. Turn off the charger and the reading after the battery is charged is 12.5 volts. I have already installed the battery in the car. Turn the key on. And the reading on my voltmeter in the car is 12.3 volts. Start the engine. Yes, it's work. The reading after starting the car engine is 14 volts. 
This means my alternator is in good condition and is charging my car battery. The whole point of this project is to learn. For all the handymen and future mechanics out there. Just remember to always wear eye protection. Last but definitely not least, courage. And confidence. Enjoy cautiously. And good luck. Use this information at your own risk. Any injury, damage, or loss that may result from improper use of any tools and equipment, or from the information contained in this video, the user must take responsibility. If you think this video helpful for you, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. May the force be with you. Pro2DIY